Okay, in this video, we're going to demonstrate how to turn that heading into a file that we can use, which will, of course, be extracted into HTML. Now, we have a floating logo here. We've covered how to extract that floating logo in a separate video, so we're not going to pull that into the heading. Uh, we are going to leave this, you know, make note of how much space is going to be needed over there, but let's start by... Uh, just hiding everything except the heading. And to do that, we're holding down the alternate key while we type on, uh, click on that I. And then we'll go ahead and hide the logo so that it's, it's not needed. All right. And we'll drag a ruler down. And we've got our snap turned on so we can see exactly how much we need there. All right, and then we will crop that from the home page image. Okay, and that's what we end up with. Now it looks like we are a little we were off a pixel at the bottom. I can see that if I zoom in on it. So I'm going to select that, bring it up a couple, actually two pixels off. Make sure that's so we don't have it wrapped all the way around. So I just wanted to zoom in and show you that. I'm going to go ahead and grab that whole area. Go up two pixels and I'm going to crop that again so that we end up with this right here. And, um, and you've got to make sure that you then save that. If, if you've extracted it from the home page PSD, you want to make sure you save it as the heading file uh, and you don't end up leaving it as the home page PSD and, re and literally turning your home page into this. So now we've got a, a heading to work with and we'll move into the next stage of slicing and dicing that heading. Now it's important to note it's uh, behind there you see in this case we have a transparent background. Unless there was an image being used for the background we want to remove any color associated with that because we want HTML to control any solid colors. Now that we have the heading extracted it allows us to think about it from an HTML vantage point. If we take a look at this I'm going to pull these guidelines over so you can see what I'm thinking. I'm going to pull that first one right there. <clears throat> and I've got another one here. I've got some blank space, but actually I'm going to take it all the way over to here. Uh, so what we see, if, and we're just guesstimating at this point, but roughly I've got about 20% space on the left side. I've got about... 20% space on the right side, uh, and I've got the remainder, which would be uh, 60, uh, in that center area. And that's in, in HTML or CSS, I mean, that's how we're going to look at it. How much space is dedicated to the text in the middle and the uh, phone number uh, and the logo on the left-hand side. So we're going to go with 20%, 20%, and 60%, and we're going to show you how that fits in with the HTML side of things. Now, as far as the menu goes, we don't even need to worry about the menu when it comes to the heading because that's going to be automated and we'll show you how that works as we move forward. I've gone ahead and highlighted that so you can see better what I'm talking about uh, with that six, that's roughly 60%. I've made that kind of a light green color. And if I crop out the menu, that'll give you a pretty clear picture. It's a very skinny heading. Um, of course, we're going to have a menu underneath it, which will give it a little bit more uh, in this particular site design. And the logo, of course, will be floating over the menu and the heading. So this is going to be a little trickier, but uh, this, this lets you see how this comes together.